How do I end up in a cool place like this RVing? Stay tuned and I'll show you. Hey everybody, David aka RV Jedi. Just a reminder, if you like what you're seeing, make sure you click and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so you get alerts for whenever a new video pops up. You know, one of the things that people always ask me is how I plan for a trip. Now, earlier this year, uh, one of my first videos, I asked you guys what you wanted to see more of, and one of the comments came from Cheryl Schuppel, who wanted to know how I went about planning my trips. Now, I am not a full-time RVer. I have to work it around work. Uh, so for me, it starts with uh, figuring out how much time I'm actually gonna have off, uh, and then planning around that. So I'm gonna take you step-by-step step through the process as I uh, put together a trip uh, that I think you'll enjoy. So one of the first things I do is figure out the times I have off from work. And for me, I'm gonna take the 5th through the 13th, and so that means that's when my travels will begin. Once I figure out the days that I'm actually gonna take off, I then go pen to paper and start figuring out what I wanna do. One of the unique things about this channel and what I've been doing in the RV world is I have not stayed at the same place twice in the three years that I've been RVing. So I've been continuing to try and look for new opportunities, new places to go every time out. So this time, no exception. I'm gonna be out uh, for just about over a week. And so I wanna try and hit up maybe one, two, maybe even three locations. So let's plan it out and see where I end up. Okay, so this is gonna look a little bit like chicken scratch, but you can see uh, the first time I marked this out, I thought I was going out on a Tuesday. So I broke it down into basically three stops uh, and that was going to be the plan. But that didn't end up working. Uh, I actually ended up having to go on Wednesday. So there it is, trip. Uh, I marked it down here starting Wednesday through Saturday, uh, then Saturday through uh, Tuesday, and then Tuesday through Saturday. That was the initial plan. So as in life, plans changed a little bit. Instead of being able to go out and do three state parks or three trips, I decided to only do two state parks and stay longer at them. So um, the next thing I do is I go on to reserveamerica.com and that's where I start looking for spots that I want to potentially stay at. Let's do that. So for me, every time I go out, I really rely on reserveamerica.com. It is one of the best places to find RV spots. Uh, and because I like to uh, RV in state parks a lot, this is a great place, a great location. So usually what'll happen is I'll start with Tallahassee. And then start looking around I'll set my arrival date. So in this case, it would have been the 5th. Uh, but since it's passed, I'll, for this purpose, just do the 7th. Uh, and then my departure date, uh, which uh, will be the 13th. Uh, and then you start going down. And it's really easy after that. You use the filters. Uh, I'm using uh, campgrounds. Uh, and I will be using down here. You add some more stuff, RV sites, and then you can go to advanced options, which I do, and put in my RV, which is 29 feet. feet. Um, I like to have electricity, so 30 amp, and water hookups, and that's basically it. I apply filters, and then boom, all of these spots are available from that time uh, that I put in, which in this case was uh, June 7th through the 13th. But of course, before this video, uh, I put in the time where I wanted to go. And this will give you an idea of where you can go uh, pretty close to Tallahassee, um, and I can drive all over. For me, what I try to do is I go from one side to the other side. So last time, uh, or a while back, you may remember, I was in Santa Rosa Beach, out in this location, um, and then went this time all the way across into 
Georgia, and then back down to Florida, and then I'll end up back in Tallahassee. Booking online with ReserveAmerica.com is the best way that I know how to go ahead and book um, uh, RV spots, especially in state parks. Uh, I do belong to Good Sam, and I will check them out every now and then, but uh, Reserve America uh, pretty much is how I've gone about finding really quality spots in uh, state parks uh, during my RV lifetime. So uh, that's what I do now. Um, I go ahead and I book. I get everything set. The next thing I have to do is figure out what I'm going to do um, when I'm out there on the road because I do provide content because I want to share everything with you all. Uh, so the next thing I have to do is plan what I'm going to do. As I'm planning what I'm going to do during my trip, I think about a couple of things. One, every park I go to, I want to make sure that I give you an overall view of what I think of the park. These are just my opinions uh, while I'm out there. Usually, I then like to have an activity. Um, sometimes it's hiking, but hiking usually gets into the, the first part of the video. Uh, the next thing I try to do is set up uh, some information or set up something that I want to do while I'm at the park. Um, sometimes it is a product review. Uh, sometimes it's doing something kind of cool. Like one time I went to the Florida Caverns in Mariana, Florida. So that was one thing and that was kind of neat. Um, so that middle piece just depends on what's going on and, and what I want to do. And then usually I want to have a meal or two that I record. I love to chef it up on the road. Uh, you know my philosophy, no need to eat poorly when you're on the road. Uh, so I'm always working on uh, new recipes, uh, trying to uh, show anybody that you can really cook and have great meals on the road. Uh, so those are three elements of all of the videos that I normally do. Uh, I'm going to change things around here and I'm going to break those up into three separate videos moving forward and see how that goes. Uh, in the past I've done them all together, uh, but now I'm going to try something different and see how that goes. Let me know what you think. Uh, so there'll be three separate videos. Now because I'm going to be at these locations for a little bit longer than normal. Uh, normal is about three, three and a half days for me, but this time they're about four days each. Um, what I am going to do is add one more video, um, uh, probably another cooking video, uh, and then uh, also uh, I'm going to try and maybe do one other kind of cool video while I'm at uh, each park. So hopefully there'll be anywhere from three to four different videos from each park, uh, which will provide great content, I hope, that you'll enjoy. So that's what happens there. Uh, everything's planned out. I know what I'm going to do. Now what I have to do, make my meal plan for the trip. So take a look at this. So this is how I go about uh, doing my meal planner. I uh, put the weeks that I'm going to be out, uh, and then I break down everything that I'm going to do uh, meal-wise uh, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, and then what I will do is go down here uh, figure out the stuff that I already have kind of in my fridge, some stuff that I have from the freezer that I need to bring, uh, and then some groceries that I need to pick up, uh, and then some drinks. Uh, and then at the bottom here, what I will do is figure out uh, which meals I'm going to record uh, for possible chefing it up segments uh, so that I have everything. So this is a really important thing because it also helps me from over buying uh, while I'm out there on the road. I have everything that I need. I know what meals that I want. So after I've done my meal planning, then it's just basically uh, load up and get on the road and, and start the RV trip. Um, as you can imagine, things change. Uh, when I got to Stephen C. Foster State Park in Georgia, uh, turned out there was a burn ban. So um, because I like to grill, uh, I was not able to grill out uh, or you campfires. Uh, so I had to restructure how I was going to do some of my meals. Uh, and the nice part about having an RV, you can cook inside here and still chef it up and have a great time. So Cheryl, I hope that answers your question in terms of how I plan for a trip. Uh, I love getting out in the RV world. I love sharing all of my experiences with you. 
Um, this really is a passion uh, and a joy for me, uh, and I hope that you see this all throughout the videos and everything that I do here at RV Jedi. Uh, and just a reminder, you can of course follow me on all social media at RV Jedi, and then you can follow my blog at RVJedi.com. Hey, get out there RV, have fun, use some of these tips if you like, and if you have some interesting tips on how you plan for your trips, leave them in the comments below, uh, and I'll look at them and, you know, who knows, maybe I'll adopt some of them. Hey, get out there in RV, have a great day, thanks for watching.